guys, it's Liv. Today I'm bringing you three super easy vegan dessert recipes. And that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. The night before you want to make this, freeze a whole can of full fat coconut milk in a freezer bag so that it's flat and easy to break into pieces once it has been frozen. And then set it aside and in a small pot add a half cup of sugar, a half cup of cocoa, and a half cup of water and stir that as best you can to get the lumps out. And then just put that on the stove on about medium heat and heat it for a few minutes so that the sugar dissolves and it doesn't stay grainy. Then you can add a little bit of an extract. I just added some vanilla extract. And then pour it into a high speed blender or food processor. And then you're just going to add all the chunks of frozen coconut milk and blend that until it's smooth. I had to do this in two halves, so I just kept adding the coconut chunks as I went. And then once it is all smooth, you're going to pour it into a loaf pan or a baking pan or even just a container and smooth out the top. And then freeze this for about an hour and a half and then you are ready to serve it. I recommend eating this the same day that you make it because when you freeze it for longer, it will get really, really hard and very frozen. So just try your best to share it with people or just eat it all at once. <laughs> In a bowl, add a quarter cup of vegan butter, a half cup of sugar, and just mix those together until they're combined. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of non-dairy milk, a splash of vanilla extract, and stir that again. Then just add one cup of flour and a half teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. Stir that all up until it forms a cookie dough, and then you're going to set that aside. Then you're going to repeat all of those steps up until the flour. So you're going to add, instead of one cup of flour, you're going to add three quarters of a cup of flour and a quarter cup of cocoa powder. And then again, add a half teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder and stir it until it is a dough. So then when you have both types of cookie dough, you're just going to take little pieces and mush it together into a ball until it has a marble effect. And keep doing that until you have filled the pan. And then you're just going to bake them at 350 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. When they come out, they should look like these perfect marbled chocolate and vanilla cookies. Disclaimer, although these are pancakes, do not attempt to eat these for breakfast. Please save them for dessert. In a bowl, add a cup of cake mix along with a quarter cup of flour, and then slowly add half to three quarters of a cup of non-dairy milk, and stir it until it becomes a smooth mixture. Then you're going to add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and then two teaspoons of a neutral tasting oil and give that a quick stir and then heat up your frying pan. So I used a medium frying pan on about medium heat and then just add your cake batter into the frying pan in pancake shapes. It will take longer to cook than pancakes so just watch it and wait till it gets bubbles inside and starts looking like it's cooked around the edges and then you can flip it and cook on the other side for up to another minute. So to serve them, I just made a glaze with powdered sugar and non-dairy milk and I added some sprinkles on top. So 
So today's video was in partnership with the app Clue, and Clue is a menstrual cycle and fertility tracker app. I thought that this was the perfect video to partner with Clue on because I think the time when I am craving desserts or treats most is during that time of the month. Basically, Clue is just a way to track your menstrual cycle, your fertility, PMS, a whole bunch of different factors. Clue can also give you reminders of when you are most likely to start PMSing, when you are going to start your period. So there's a really cool new feature called Clue Connect where you can share your cycle and your information with a friend or a family member or your partner. So as you can see, Clue has a super clean and simple design. It's super easy to use and it's really intuitive. I love how it shows a circle for the cycle and then it's really easy to navigate through all the different things you can track. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you make any of the recipes, make sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Lives Healthy Life. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.